Hi, my name is Sanat Maiti, third year graduate student at the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. So currently I am working on the project disciplining the SNARF code regulatory mechanism of small nuclear ribonucleoprotein abundance and repertoire. We call small nuclear ribonucleoprotein as SNARF. SNARF has a common structural feature composed uh, around 50 nucleotides in sequence that contains the SM site and as a SM3 prime stem loop called SNARF code. SNARF along with 50 splicing factors form spliceosomes, which play a crucial role in the post transcriptional regulation of gene expression. For this rule, spliceosome require equal stoichiometry of the SNARFs for splicing. Very interestingly, the abundance of SNARF very significantly in the tissue and development manner. The heat map of, uh, heat map of relative SNRNA quantifying by qPCR across different tissues showed that the fetal and the Mm, adult tissue have significant variation in SNRNA expression level. However, the molecular mechanism of this abundance and its repertoire remain poorly understood. As NARF repertoire is a fundamental requirement of the diversifying the expression of genes in different tissues and development process, if we understand the repertoire of SNARF and abundance, we will understand the basic mechanism of diversifying diversity, uh, diversification of the gene expression in different tissues and also can understand the development process and it, it defects in bigger aspects. So we examine the SNARF code and identify SNARF specific proteins and its interaction with SMN complex. We know that SMN complex is the mediator of SNARF biogenesis, which is the form which form a complex with SM proteins and JAMIN228. In 2017, my professor Dr. So discovered that U1 SNRNA association with SMN complex is mediated by U170K and JAMIN5 proteins. So I conducted a small spectrometry study of SMN complex interactum to study uh, whether the SMN proteins interact with any SNARF specific proteins. For conducting this experiment, I use cross-linking method for finding its partner. After conducting this experiment, I found that SMN interacts with SMN pro specific proteins along with its complex partners. For example, it binds with U170K, U1A, U2B prime, U2A prime, and HP2L1 and PRPF4, EFTUD2, etc. So those are the SNARF specific proteins. And after conducting this experiment, I looked for the KUM structure of the U SNARF to find whether these specific proteins are close contact in SNARF code like U170K, um, as it is very close to the SNARF code of U1, so NHP2L1 and PRPF4 uh, is the very uh, close uh, for the U4 SNARF code, U2A prime and U2B prime is very close to the U2 SNARF code and EFTUD2 for the U5 SNARF code. So I have selected or specific proteins to knock down, for example, U2A prime for U2 SNRNA, NSP2L1 and PRPF4 for U4 and EFTUD2 for U5. After knockdown, I check the knockdown efficiency by Western blot analysis and then qualitatively quantify their expression by MS Studio software. Very interestingly, I found that knockdown of the specific proteins affect other uh, SNARF specific protein expression as well. For example, when I knock down the NHP to L1, it actually affects the U2 A prime and PRPF for protein expression. To further investigate, um, I went in bit through uh, SM4 assembly, which is the process of SNARF biogenesis, where all JAMIN228 and uh, SM proteins interact with SMN and SNRNA to form SNARF. I found that knockdown of SNARF specific proteins altered the SM4 assembly activity. For example, U2A prime knockdown increased the SM4 assembly of U1 and U5, whereas NSP2L1 and PRPF4 EFT2 EFT uh, decreased the U1, U2, U4, and U5 SNARF assembly. Uh, Swiss is giving me a hint that this four proteins has directly interaction with SNARP assembly and smating in their repertoire and abundance. Now, my future investigation is actually solely investigating the, um, identifying the interaction between SNARP specific protein and SMN complex and their role in facilitating the SM4 assembly and examining the abundance of SNARP specific proteins in various tissue and their impacts on the SNARP stability and repertoire. So I would like to thank my PI Dr. So for her immense support for my research.